All right, welcome back, everybody. This is uh, another episode of Zebra Rifles uh, podcast, season two, episode eight, I think, of somewhere. Uh, we've just finished the regular season, and I'm joined today with the team that's called Gum Faction from Glotzheim, and also with me, Alex and Bart. Welcome. Hello. Yeah, welcome to you all. Um, it, it's a pretty big team today, so uh, we got three of you here. That's all good. Um, we're just going to have some chill conversations about the rustic season, because you guys have been going from C tier to S tier, so that's a good story already. Uh, how do you feel about uh, being S tier right now? Nasıl hissediyorsunuz? Şu anki durumunuz hakkında ne söylemek istersiniz? We can... Uh, Glass, I uh, want to talk Turkish to me, and I yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Oh, wait. That was a cool season, Se- season for us. Bize grupta bu kadar galibiyet alacağımızı düşünmüyorlardı. Uh, no one was thinking, uh, thinking that uh, we're gonna win so much wins like this, and. Uh, uh, we almost won the season, the season for now. Ama güzel başladık. Şu an yarı finaldeyiz. Gruptan çıkmak istiyoruz. Güzel geçiyor sıkımlarımız. İlk başlarda biraz kötüydük. Çünkü random oyuncular vardı ve birbirimizi tanımıyorduk. Randomdan kastım şu, birbirimizi tanımıyorduk. Tanımayan oyuncuların birleştiği bir takım olduk. Ama sonrasında bir sinerji oluşturduk. Ve şu an güzel gidiyoruz. Inshallah, Everything is really good uh, for now. At the beginning, we had some uh, issues and communication issues. Some uh, some of our play- players uh, didn't going well to our team. Uh, but in, we are in uh, semi-final for now, and we, uh, of course, we want to win this uh, season, and we're gonna go go up the uh, other league. Uh, everything is fine for now. Uh, that's it. Yeah, nice. Confident. I like it. I like it. Um, I, I guess I'm, I wanted yeah. to make sure because at the start of the season, you told me that the, the name from your team is from uh, from a university uh, team that you once uh, were part of. Can you tell the story uh, about about the team name? Is takımın is takımın isminin is üniversiteden ya da farklı bir hikayesinin olduğunu söylediğini hatırlıyorum dedi. Ne söylemek istersin bunun hakkında? 2010 yılında üniversiteye başladığımda orada Alican diye bir arkadaşım hala şu anda arkadaşım onunla tanışmıştım. Sonrasında Point Blank in 2010 in 2010 I was playing a Point Blank game and I had a friend like uh, name is Ali uh, Alican right? Üniversite and arkadaşım. Devam et. Was my uh, college friend from, from my college? Uh, they, there was a there was a team on uh, point blank. The name is Gun Fiction, and they invited me in that um, team in 2010. Ben de Gladsheim yaptım. 2010 senesinden beri Nikim Gladsheim veya bir oyunda başladığımız zaman bir klan kuracaksak hep ismimiz Gunfaction oluyor. Yani üniversite uh, their names their, their names uh, were like uh, Hel- Helheim or Jotunheim or something and I made my um, nickname like Gladsheim uh, as now. Uh, uh, bir oyuna başladığımız zaman kanka Beraber oynadığımız hmm. zaman hep klanımız Gun Faction oluyor. Yani... When we start a game and playing uh, any game, we put our um, clan's name like Gun Faction. Nice. Yani, evet. E, şu an hala re, in real life'da görüştüğüm arkadaşlarım ve... E, They're in, re, in my real life. They're my close friends. Hmm. Yıllardır hep Gun Faction böyle bir hikayemiz var. LoL'de de, Counter'da da. Hmm. Point Blank'te de hep Gun Faction olarak oynadık. Sonrasında Rebellious ile biz takım kurduk. Rebellious, ben, Kalashnikov. Takımın ismini Bater yapacaktık kanka. Sonrasında dedim ki Gun Faction yapalım. In Congress Blade, uh, when we um, opening the team uh, with my 
Rebellious, Kalashnikov and um, Glassheimer. Hı-hı. Without ne demiştiniz takımı? Bater. Uh, Bater. Yeah, the name uh, was going to be uh, Bater, but Hı-hı. I said uh, let's make it uh, confection and they uh, approve it. Nice, that's good. Yeah, excellent story. Nice to hear that you've been uh, doing like esports for so long. And um, I just want to make sure that we introduce you as well, Bart and Alex. So, uh, Bart, what are what is your part in the in the gun faction team? I just joined the team. Like uh, last time, just asked me, do you want to play any team? I <laughs> play. I um, like. I'm liking your playing style. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I know the last time from uh, EU two server and i know rebellious from uh season four uh oh, nice. in jaharia maybe you know maybe you don't know yeah, I do. uh, he's my uh <laughs> yeah he's my uh one of the first friends in this game so uh they ask me do you want to uh, play or not mm-hmm. and i just accept it and um before our screams and uh one one or two months ago from a uh, tournament hmm. i just i was just asking the glass timer and rebellious do you need anything can i um what can i do for you to help because i just want to help their um tactics or something and they just gave me the officer perm and i was uh, helping them uh, as much as i can that's it nice excellent and uh, alex what about you I'm. I mean, I am the current shot caller of Gun Faction. I'm mm-hmm. the guy who sometimes has the shitty ideas, and they have to fix them <laughs> so we can actually make a decent strat. But yeah, right now I'm just shot calling for the team. I joined it because Morales joined it. Okay. I when we did one blame Elias, Morales joined it, and I joined it with him. And I didn't know anyone from the team except Morales and Tomsi. <laughs> and here we are today. Like nice, nice. One, well. Two, I have to say, good job then, uh, despite your shit shot calling, you've been doing really well. So, uh, congrats on that. Um, yeah, for those who don't know Gun Faction, you guys made it out of a uh, rustic uh, regular season Group A uh, as a first place, or Group B, right? Group B, yeah. Yep. Um, and um, you guys uh, were able to get first place over Endgegner, uh, we'll probably talk about the team later, uh, and also over uh, Pelio Old School. Who helped you to get first place by uh, winning a game against Endgame in the last round? Um, yes. But I also know that you guys were already prepping for uh, two revivals, I think, to play against Endgame for a tiebreaker match. Uh, I'm very curious. Um, were you excited to play against Endgame in a tiebreaker, or do you rather play them in the finals? Trul Varos'la hani Endgame'la finalde karşılaşacağınız için ne söylemek istersin ya? Engegner ile karşılaşmayacağız ki. Paella ile karşılaşabiliriz yarı finalde. Engegner we... alayına mermi ile karşılaşacak. Aha. In in this situation, let's me say, Engegner gonna uh, fight against uh, alayına mermi and mm-hmm. we're gonna fight against um, Paella old school and then we're gonna uh, go finals, right? Ben Engegner'dan alayına mermi yenebileceğini düşünmüyorum. Yeah, so um... Hayda. He says I don't think Engegner can win against Alayna Mermi. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Might be, who knows. <gülüyor> Sebebi de yani evet CBR şampiyonu, eski CBR şampiyonu ama eski oyuncuların bir çoğu yok. Çok az oyuncu var. Mm-hmm. Evet. Uh, it says the reason is uh, yes, they are old CBL, CBL winner, but um, they don't have the uh, old players in the uh, team. They mostly the new players, okay. as we know. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm uh, uh, pretty mesela, agree with it. Evet, iki tane çok iyi, çok güzel komutçuları var, Kaimera ve Susnu. Ama e, oyunu bıraktılar, geri döndüler, ara verdiler. Kaimera uzun süre sonra geri döndü. Biraz evet. bence e, metayı ve oyunu e, şu an yakalayamadığını düşünüyorum. Ama oyuna devam etseydi really... bence daha farklı şeyler olabilirdi. Bu sezon olmayabilir ama bence bu sezon Engegner daha iyi olur. Uh, for now they uh, they really have good um, shot colors and leaders as um, Kaimera and Susno. Hmm. But Kaimera just um I have a break the game for one year probably mm-hmm. and Susno 
uh, maybe as well. Uh, so we think they don't know to uh, don't know the meta uh, that's so good. Mm-hmm. Maybe just they don't know like uh, like us uh, too much. But they have limit breaker also. He's playing um, the game mm-hmm. really, really, really, um, really, really much. So. Uh, but we don't think this maybe uh, not this season, uh, but the next season again are gonna be uh, better than now. All right, interesting. Yeah, and even if they lose against Ali and Mermi, we'll talk about uh, those matches later. But uh, they can still go to third place and still make it to the feudal division. So you might still, uh, if of course you go to uh, the final, then you could still uh, uh, play them next season. Who knows? Um, Alex, I'm really curious to hear from you. Uh, what has been your worst match in this season, and what has been your best match? Oof, I, mean, <laughs> I think the match I enjoyed the most was winning against Paella. Mm-hmm. I would say it was one of the games I most enjoyed, and I was playing Flames that game. Ah, excellent. They, they actually did a pretty good job. Mm-hmm. And the worst match, I don't remember. Probably some scream where we actually fucked up playing <laughs> against a really good team. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think there was a game where I like 10 units in the whole match. Mm-hmm. Was, like, That's a right. Disaster. Well, I guess you can always say you, you were shot calling, so... Uh... No, on that, on that game I was not even shot ah, calling. Ah, no. <laughs> like, you, you can blame it on that then. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good, that's good. All right, I what can a... blame yeah. Fatal for yeah. it. Yeah, you can always blame Fatal, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's something that's funny though. Um, like, are there any specific players in your team that uh, really like create a certain atmosphere or that uh, yeah, that you guys really like, really enjoy playing with. <laughs> Say Fatal, Alex, you first. Now you ask him. Fatal is shit. Anything without him. Takımda çok sevdiğiniz ve beraber oynamaktan keyif aldığınız arkadaşlarınız kimlerdir? Ben Riasalbedo diyorum. For me, is... uh, Glassheimer says Riasalbedo. Mm-hmm. I says. Uh, I can't say just one name. I uh, know too many guys in that team, but maybe Glassheimer and Alex. Uh, yeah, <laughs> şey olarak say. oynamak, evet beraber oynamak e, güzel ve şöyle bir şey var. Gerçekten oyun tarzını çok seviyorum. Bir asasın yapabileceği en iyi şeylerin hepsini yapıyor takımda. E, oyun tarzını çok beğeniyorum. Yeah, I know, I know his playing, I know his playing style, but, uh, and. Uh, he's doing the best job in, in Assassin, mm-hmm. so I'm I'm really really uh, liking his playing style. Nice, nice. Yeah. So and also because you're also casting last time, I know you've seen maybe more of the Rustic teams than I have. Although I try to watch all of the vaults as well after the the weekend is done. But um, according to you, who is currently like the top three Rustic teams? Um, out of all groups, and also who are like the top three players, if you if you could rank them. Beğendiğin hani tüm liglerden sadece Rusikte değil. You mean uh, the teams in Feudals, right? The best three, the all all the CBR, mm. right? Or yeah, just, yeah, sure. just in the Rustic league. Uh, I, I was talking about just just Rustic league, but you can you can do C, like the whole CBR as well. I, I'm kind of curious. No, we, yeah. Rustic. Rustik'teki senin beğendiğin e, en iyi üç takım ve bir, bir de tüm, tüm feudal dahil tüm e, turnuvadaki en beğendiğin üç takım aynı zamanda da en beğendiğin üç oyuncu bir soruyor. Aa, kendimizi evet. saymadan takımlar ve üç oyuncu. Rustik'te beğendiğim. We Aa, can't count Alayına us. Mermi. <gülüyor> Aa, Alayına mermi. Rus- Birinci olarak Rus- biliyorsun bunu. Rustik'in Rustik'in Rustik'in Best Rustik'in uh, Mm-hmm. Alayına mermi. Uh, uh, Lovan Division. Uh, three. Maybe Engamer. Hmm. All right. Interesting. Interesting. All team. All, uh, exactly. Philips. Uh, Odin Vision. Mm. And No Bitches. All right, interesting. Owens Legion have definitely been doing really well lately. So, uh, oh. three players. Mm-hmm. Uh, if trolling, Amya. If he's not trolling, <laughs> Amya the first. 
Yeah, makes sense. Uh, vasectomy. Hmm. Vasectomy is second. Uh, bu çok zor ya. Bu gerçekten çok zor. Üçüncü. Yani Amya'nın oyunu gerçekten çok güzel. Kalaşı ee, da Yok kanka. <gülüyor> yani hep şey yaptım, zevk aldım. Uh, maybe, maybe slide cutie. Alright, slide cutie also from the Wii. Or platies. Yeah, yeah. Alright, interesting. Yeah, Amya I can definitely understand. I mean, he's of course the most, he has got the most hero kills, uh, probably best the old blade that we have. Um, um, Why is Vasectomy so higher on, list, on your list? Amya'nın uh, Amya'nın uh, Self Slayer maçını seyretti diye sundu kendisi. Amya hep dışarıdaydı. Uh, you you watched the Amya Self Slayer uh, match, right? The CV. You watched it in the stream. So mm -hmm. I, Amya was uh, always in outside, outside of the yeah, fight. Exactly. Yeah. Ve gerçekten karşı takımı çok rahatsız etti. Karşı takım hep arkaladı. Güzel oyundu. Amya trollemezse oyunu aldırıyor ama trollerse kendini oynuyor. Ben öyle yeah, if he's not trolling, he uh, he um, bringing the win to his team, but hmm. if he is trolling, it's actually maybe sometimes slot blocking. <gülüyor> nice. I like you saying that. All right, all right. That's good. Too. Um Then let's talk more about your team as well. Um, you guys have been doing really well, and and you just started out this season. So why do you believe that you guys have been improving so much? And then any of you can answer it. Bu kadar gelişmenizi neye bağlıyorsunuz? Ne, bu böyle gelişmenizi neden bu kadar geliştiğinizi düşünüyorsunuz? Diyor. Nasıl oldu? Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, tell us the secrets. Yeah, I think we have pretty pretty good players like all of us we are really good except me that i'm shit but the rest are, are pretty good and i don't know we were just adapting to meta trying to see what we can improve like at the start for example we start playing like no cuff at all like mm -hmm. we thought it was not a heavy cuff meta but then we saw some games we evolved and now i think on our last comp you got to see that we were playing 10 cavalry or something like that mm -hmm. and also we try to get like the players to get conf They will with the units they play, like the madab. If they want to swap their units, I assign them. It's up to them. They can change it, mm -hmm. and we try to create team synergy. And I think it's working pretty well. Yeah, sounds good. So lots of stuff you worked on. So units, uh, different picking different units, also giving your team more trust as well. Yeah. What what are things that you're still working on then? Uh, I mean, uh, strats. We're always trying to evolve, like on the wheel, how to play a map or how to do something. Also, still on unit comps a lot because I'm still giving Brachio to one guy who does not even have int. So <laughs> it has been like this for the three last games. And I don't know, building like team building, I guess, because we don't know each other that mm -hmm. good. I see, I see, that's good. Uh, how, how do you do that though, the team building? I mean, uh, I came from a team where team building was like at other level, I guess. like. Mm. I remember being 10 minutes before a game, just playing poker mm -hmm. on the Discord with the Discord thingy. Nice. But I think it's just playing between each other, trying to learn each other more, try to play together and see how how everyone adapts and all that. I mm -hmm. think it's working pretty well. Nice, nice. Yeah. What about you, Bart? What do you think is the... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. This, yeah, I agree with Alex, but um, the almost all of the players in our team are really really good players in their positions so uh we we uh didn't learn the game to anyone they just they were playing really good they were uh, they were um good players and they just um played played with each other and just we won so uh we actually that wasn't that hard so They just uh, they just played together and they, they um, started to uh, learn each other and uh, they played uh, better and better. Nice, nice. All right, excellent. Good to hear that. Um, then, more specifically, also, uh, uh, your team is mostly Turkish, right? Or do you, do you also have some guys who are not Turkish? Of course, I I don't think we're mostly Turkish, by the way. No, let me, let me check. Yeah, 
var. Nasıl? Not mostly, no. no uh, I'm not agree with it. Wait, let me check first. Yeah, um, because because if you're not, then I'm really curious. How how do you manage the like the multiple languages? Do you just what? do you just speak English or? Uh, translate yapar mısın? Cevabını şey vereyim. Yeah. Evet. Söyle. Hayır. E, sorunun translate'ini yaparsan cevap vereceğim. Ha, savaşlarda e, sustan Alex cevap verecekti zaten kardeşim. E, savaşlarda hangi dille konuşuyorsunuz İngilizce. ve çok fazla hani yer e, çoğunlukla Türk oyuncu olduğunuzu düşünüyorum dedi. Ben de buna katılmadığımı söyledim. İlk başlarda ona, çok Türk vardı. Ee, At the beginning we had e, too many Turkish players. Sonrasında hmm. e, yabancı oyuncular katıldı. Komut İngilizceye döndü. İngilizce anlayamayan. At the beginning, the, our uh, our calls were, were um, like mostly Turkish, but uh, after our, after the uh, international people joining us, our uh, calls uh, was just English, only English. Mm. Uh, so now we uh, are the Alex only Turks, uh, only talks uh, English and mm. no Turkish for now. Hmm. And we will uh, like seven or eight Turkish people in our team in 20, hmm. 20 plus uh, players. Yeah, so yeah. it's not mostly Turkish. No, absolutely. That's it's very international then. You could say that for sure. Yeah, nice. Good, good to find out that the yeah. element in your team yeah. as well. Fransızlar takımda daha çok. Yeah, we have more than uh, we have um, the French people more than Turks in, oh, really? uh, in yeah. the team. I can't yeah. believe how there are so many yeah. French players yeah. in this game uh, like playing competitively. Yeah, yeah. They really love playing competitively. Yeah. All right, uh, more personally about you guys then. Uh, for each of you, I'm really interested. Why do you enjoy playing uh, CB Rivals more than. Shasti olarak CB Rivals oynamak senin için neden iyi çekici? Neden hoşuna gidiyor? Neden oynuyorsun? Kester'lı bence CB Rivals'ta oynamaktan daha zor. Dört tane maç sunuyorsun. Dört saatin gidiyor. Onun casting is, casting is uh, much harder than uh, playing in <gülüyor> CB Rivals. You're you're uh, wasting your time, wasting your four hours, and you casting the match. So, uh, it's hard. Dört saat boyunca konuşuyorsun. Abi. Bu seni yoruyor ama. You talk, you talking for uh, four hours. Uh, and it's being hard to you. Mm -hmm. ee, sonrasında dedim ki Kester'lığı bırakayım e, Turnava'da oynayayım dedim. O Dinlijian'la konuşmuştum daha öncesinde ama takım fulldü. O sebepten dolayı kendi takımımı kurdum. I don't wanna cast again, I wanna play. And I played Odin's Legion'da oynadım. Oynamak Oynamak istedim. Ragnarok'ta um, konuştum ama takım fulldü. Oynamak istedim. Uh, at the beginning I... Uh, I wanted to play in Odin's Legion, but the team was full, uh, so I quit uh, the gun faction. Mm -hmm. yeah, I get it. Yeah, I also noticed. I always wanted to play in tournament. Mm -hmm. And I search uh, for a good team for me, and I couldn't find, so I created my own team. Yeah, excellent. Well, that's a good way to do it. And now, even as you're doing so well, congrats on that for sure. Uh, Alex, what about you? Why do you like playing in CBR so much? I, I think the 15, 15, like all the screams, all playing these competitive games. Mm -hmm. I think it's, you know, the, the funny part of Conqueror Blade, I would say, or one of the funniest things to do. So that's what I really enjoy doing these, these games, the, the screams and all the competitive things around it is mm -hmm. what I really like. Excellent. Yeah, it definitely makes sense for sure. It's it's highly competitive. And now also with the scrims, like how often do you try to scrim uh, with your team? Two scrims a week. <laughs> Two scrims a week. Well, I mean that's pretty good average for sure. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. That's good. All right, Bart, what about you? Um, I'm always uh, when I good fights in this game in mm. rankeds in uh, not siege. You can't find any good. Um, Good games in yeah, Siege, hard. but <laughs> in, in territory wars, I I just I uh, mostly didn't want to win. I just I, I just wanted I can uh, I can lose, but uh, it if it was a good match, it uh, if that was a competitive match, mm -hmm. I enjoyed that. I always just um, looked for the um, competitive games games and. Mm -hmm. uh, 
that's my fun, yeah. Yeah, that's right. where I'm playing. Yeah, yeah. I like uh, that you in tournaments, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're just looking for the hard fight, the the, the really fun fights where you get to enjoy it regardless yeah, of the Yeah, hard fight, good yeah. fights, good players, good mm -hmm. strats. Yes. <gülüyor> it's not yani takım, uh, even funny for me. olduğun zaman yenileceksin korkusu oluyor. Onu düşünüyorsun. When you being a team team captain, mm -hmm. uh, you have a um, lose fear. If you lose, uh, it's gonna be on you. Mm. That's um, feels hard. Yani uh, to oyuncu you. olarak oyuncular için bence eğlenceli ama ben e, bazen korkuyorum. <gülüyor> Acaba yenilecek miyiz? Uh, maybe, maybe playing in uh, Syria, maybe uh, good for players, mm -hmm. uh, maybe um, enjoy uh, for players, but as a team captain, uh, it's really hard to lose. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm really, uh, I have really fear to yeah. lose because I mostly don't have, any, any, don't have uh, to sell, say anything to my team. Mm -hmm. So I have some fears to lose. Yeah, I like it. And I like also what you're saying last time. I like being a player is kind of the most fun because you just get to play the game, which is what we all want to do. Then if you're a team captain, suddenly... Oh, I see that. <laughs> Alex got interrupted by our rebel camp. Nice. Well, go beat it, Alex. <laughs> Imagine. Legendary. This is good. <laughs> Let's find out if you're, if you're any good. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure it's back on the, uh, on the podcast. All right, we're, we can all watch Alex beat the rubble camp in the meantime, so that'll be no, fun. No, wait. Is, is <laughs> Alex, the, Alex is nice content. Did you bring the units? I, I don't know. I think it's from no, my unit. <laughs> all right, good, good. Where do you have two? Nice, nice. Oh, is it two? Oh, you got attacked by two. Oh, my yeah, goodness. Yeah, it's from... Bro. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. Uh, good luck with that one. All right, so oh, back to the yeah. question, Glass. Um, something I really like yeah. you saying is the players. That's why Alex don't play art. <laughs> yeah, he shouldn't <laughs> play. <it. laughs> I should go. Uh, nice, nice. I'm, go I'm going to shoot all them on World Cup. Yeah, good luck with that one. Uh, be nice to them a little bit. No, but uh, back to the question. So being, we all want to play the game, right? That, that's why we uh, do all this. Um, I, like. Same for me, right? I'm a tournament organizer right now for Sea Rivals, but that only is because I like to play the game, really. Uh, but it's a lot of extra, and the same with being a team captain, also with being the caster. So uh, I understand that you went from caster to team captain, and maybe, hopefully, Alex does such a good job that you don't even have to be the team captain, I guess. No. <laughs> what you want to say, Alex? Uh, sorry, uh, I don't know. Like, uh, I'm I probably one of the shittiest shot callers you can find <laughs> on any team. I would say, like, Magistras just consists on stealing straps from other teams, which actually works pretty well. But yeah, I don't know. At the end, it works. Exactly. And it works. Yeah. That's definitely yeah, true. It's better to steal something really good than to invent something really bad. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Uh, good to hear from you guys like that. Um, looking forward then uh, with your team and um, so you already said at the start all of you that you're really confident you will go to the finals and if you go to the finals you go to Fuel Division. So what do you look forward to playing in Fuel Division? Fuel <laughs> Feyerdal'de oynamak istiyoruz. Ama e, bu performansı Feyerdal'de gösterebilir miyiz? Bilmiyorum. E... Uh, we want to play in uh, Feyerdal Division, but I'm not sure we can uh, the, we can give our same performance in uh, as in uh, Rustic. It's going to be uh, much harder than uh, Rustic uh, for sure. But, çünkü oradaki takımlardaki uh, Oyuncuların hepsi e, bayağıdır turnuvalarda oynuyorlar. Birbirlerine alışkınlar, birbirlerini tanıyorlar. E, bayağı yani çok deneyimleri var adamların. Ya biz daha yeni kurulmuş bir takım. Because the players teams in Feudos, um, they have really experience about um, tournaments and uh, their players are playing the tournaments for seasons. Hmm. And we just, uh, we just opened the... Uh, team like this season, uh, 
we're gonna we're gonna do our our best for sure. We have, we have confidence. Um, yani e, yeni bir şey takımız, birbirimize yeni alışıyoruz. İlk başlarda gerçekten çok zordu. Şu an biraz oturtturduk ama e, yani rüstik e, şey feudal de oynayabiliriz ama e, yani başa çıkabilir miyiz veya bu iyi performansımızı orada da gösterebilir miyiz bilmiyorum. Zamanla göreceğiz. E, We are good. We are good players. We are. Um, we uh, know each other mm -hmm. now. Um, but I'm not sure. Like uh, we give our best performance in the field, like rustic. Uh, but we're gonna uh, work, work on it. For sure. Then, field ola çıkarsak bizim için de gerçekten güzel bir deneyim olacak diye düşünüyorum. If we uh, go to uh, Feydal, it's gonna be a good experience to be to us. So, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And Alex, uh, looking to you as a shot caller, what team uh, do you look forward to prepare against? Like any uh, of the speci any specific team? I mean, for right now, for the close time, I would say I won't be be ready against Paella and Gegner or team who mm -hmm. can fight in finals. And I would actually be want to be able to try to fight like good against i mean i would like to fight against plebs but mm -hmm. now that they are not playing i would say no beaches kebabs or self play i think all three of them are like pretty good teams and i would mm -hmm. like to get into their level oh, but we are not right now yeah, yeah have you played one of those teams uh, during your scrims as well we have indeed played against one of those teams during our scrims mm -hmm. and how yeah. was it I'm not, I mean, I can say their solo was not the one we expected. Mm. We managed to get one round of, of against them. Good job, good job. Um, yeah. <laughs> but they, uh, when they attack us, they, they, we saw very big difference. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's, I, I guess we were lucky that time or I don't know. But yeah. Nice. Well, that's a good start. At least you got one in. That's always good. Yeah, at least we got one round. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, then. Um, Talking about strats and maps and stuff, um, what did you enjoy the most uh, this season in terms of the maps? I would say Hayden City or Kurak Castle are hmm? both of the maps that I like the most. And White Elk, I hate it. Mm -hmm. Why is that? It's... White Tag Fort. White Tag Fort, did you like it, uh, Glass? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no, no. Please, no more White Elk. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Bence Whitehack Fort turnuvaya uygun bir map olarak düşünmüyorum. Çünkü e, gerçekten e, base'e gittiğin zaman e, çok az ünitin kalıyor ve köşede gerçekten savunan takım çok güzel savunuyor. E, I don't think Whitehack Fort yani. is Oh, I think Fort is uh, a good map for tournaments, mm -hmm. in my opinion, because uh, when you go and go to the base, uh, you have really, really a uh, low unit count, so it's been uh, too hard for attackers. Mm -hmm. No, attackers are like serious. Savunma. Savunma. Savunma. Savunma. Savunma. Savunma. Savunma. Hiçbir şey yapamıyorsun. Adamlar da Falco vardı. Yaklaşamadık bile yanlarına. Yani e, çok zor bir evet. map diye düşünüyorum. Biz çok oynadık White Hack Fort'ta. Bart sen de çok iyi hatırlıyorsun. Yani kazanamadık, evet. yenildik, ezildik, anlayamadık map'i. Sonrasında çözdük ama yani biraz da erken geldi map. E, Takım da kendine yeni alışıyordu. Yani şu an mesela White Hack Fort gelse ve Engagner'da oynasaydık alabilirdik. Yeah, we uh, we had one to one uh, with Engagner in uh, White Elk Fort. Yeah. Uh, maybe today uh, we fight fight with them uh, in White Elk Fort. Maybe uh, we won because we uh, now we know the map. We know the uh, best strat for the map. Mm -hmm. Maybe strats. Uh, so we didn't know the uh, map yani, that as well. Yeah, yeah. That's why yeah. I don't like the uh, White Hack Fort. Yani, hmm. e, ilk defa belki turnuvada White Hack Fort oynandı ve bir maç yok başka. İzleyip de bir fikir e, yürütebileceğim bir yeah. e, video Maybe. yok, maç yok ve e, 
probably it's the first first white cat uh, white elk fort map in the uh, tournament so we uh, almost there's almost um, no videos mm -hmm. uh, to watch the strats in uh, white elk fort ben yeniyim bu konularda ve iyi de olduğunu düşünüyorum o zaman alex yapmıyordu i don't think I'm not that good and in that time uh, Alex, Alex was not our shot caller hmm. uh, and we had some issues about Rebellious ile ikimiz yapıyorduk Rebellious komutluyordu ama e, bizim için gerçekten çok zordu yani işin içinden çıkamadık ne yapabileceğimizi düşündük e, we were kaç doing kişiden yardım istedik with Rebellious uh, Rebellious uh, together it was uh, being really hard to us hmm. uh, to uh, make a strat for Uh, white elk fort and we ask some helps for uh, other people some of uh, our friends so uh, we just we just um we're just good now in white elk yeah, but it's not it's not a good map for uh, cbl yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. bence finallerin e, başkentlerde oynanması da bana biraz garip geliyor turul mapinde bence çok zevkli Nine. bir final görmeyeceğiz And I want to add this. I, in my opinion, uh, in the capital city, the playing finals in capital cities is uh, not a good decision. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're gonna uh, watch uh, good matches in these uh, capital cities. Mm, interesting. Yeah, we'll have to see. Um, I'm very curious. Like, like on Laura was really good. I think last season, and at least teams really enjoyed it. That played it. Uh, we'll have to find a way to find out. I mean, we've just like we've never played on Wild Oak Fort, we've also never played on uh, Two of Owls. Um, maybe it's really bad, it might happen for sure. We'll, we'll, we only know after we've played it, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yes, it's, it's good that you mentioned it, and and that's always that's also the thing, right? We're just trying new stuff out, and if, if, if a map is really bad, we're just not gonna play it probably next time. So, uh, that's always good to know and, and learn from. Um, I, I would actually like to see you guys play on White Oak Fort again uh, and Gigner again because you tied on that one and maybe it will be different results next time. But uh, I guess we'll never see that happen, maybe. Um, should we do the tier list, guys? Uh, tier list. Okay. Tabii. Yeah. Of, of, for sure. For sure. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, um, şunu da eklemek istiyorum. Seyabe'de translate edersen. I want to add this. Uh, map. Kötü olarak değil ya da SAB'nin seçimi kötü değil. Şöyle söyleyeyim. Map'te ABC var. A'yı BC'yi saldıktan sonra 9 dakika eklenecek. Zaten map'in süresi çok fazla. Ve herkes BZ'e çekilecek. Böyle taktik göreceğiz. Ee, süre, süre çok uzun olacak. 3 push göreceğiz ve sonrasında quit atacaklar oyundan. Evet. Ve bu çok hızlı bir e, oyun bitecek. Ama mesela bir Kurak Castle, Hidden City gibi map'ler de gene kafa kafaya atak ve defans oynayabiliyor. Ama I'm, I'm not saying anything to uh, CB's uh, choice but I'm not saying like uh, the the uh, the map is bad. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying uh, there is A, B and C and mm -hmm. it adds uh, almost 9 minutes to uh, game time mm -hmm. uh, in during this During this time, uh, you uh, mostly uh, losing your units, and it's been hard to push um, endpoints in these maps. Mm -hmm. But if if uh, if in these the other other maps, you can you can uh, be capable to uh, win uh, base in attack. But in this situation, it's being really really hard uh, for attackers. Yep, I get it. I get it. Yeah, and it's all, it's also a discussion. Maybe that's worth having. Like, in you you could say that it's really good for uh, a competition if a map is like totally equal, right? You have 50 50 chance to win on on a map uh, because then the best team will win. But you could also say that if all maps are not equal, so one side is favored, so attack or defense, then if you want to win the 2-0, then you need to be a lot better. Yes. And that um, so then winning that that matchup would show that you're really a lot better and then if it is really close and at the end of the season you could always have like a playoff series or a tiebreaker match to still find out who's stronger but that's yeah that's like an interesting discussion to have um I'm not sure if you guys have an opinion on it I'm, i'm really curious actually i mean i think it's good like maybe it's not, like the difference as you say on some maps but i like 
I think if we play like we try to play the most balanced maps, it would be better for the competition because, mm -hmm. for example, let's say two two teams that are really really good, that are high level teams, are fighting on an attack side map. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then they uh, they both teams they won one. But for example, you can as a team that is not that good, maybe you can hold a very strong other very strong team on a very side map. Mm -hmm. And you get higher points than other team that has shown that you are better than them, yeah, yeah, like worse than them. But they they are higher on mm -hmm. the ranking because of the matchup. They got luck. They have to play that mm -hmm. map against certain teams. So that's yeah. why I would like to see like balanced maps yeah, exactly. or ev or every map like I don't know something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with you. Say so. It's very different if you play the same map the whole season because then you play yeah, yeah, the opponent against the same map, right? And and that, yeah, that would yeah, probably yeah. be the best. But that's also really boring. Like we don't want to play the same map for seven weeks, right? So, or maybe we do. maybe we should. Because that's also something to consider as well. Yeah, but um, yeah, for example, Wallfort was considered a really good map. I don't know if you agree, but Wallfort has been the map that's been most played in tournaments. Um, so most tournament teams are really tired of playing a Wallfort. Some enjoy yeah. it, of course, but yeah, <laughs> it's just what happens. Yep. All right, let's go to the tier list then. Um, but a very interesting discussion. Maybe we'll go back on it later. Um, Glad, this is for you, I think. Uh, your tier list. You can uh, let me know what you what you want to do. Um, I've just shared my screen with you, so you should be able to to see it. Where do you want to start? Hangi turnuva shovingsters? Only cars and warbus. All right, the uh, NA teams. Go ahead. Yes, D tier. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Not too hard, I guess. <laughs> Although Warbus played, you played Warbus in the last round, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, all right. So two zero and win. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> next. <laughs> all right. Uh, what's the next one? Neden ikisi biriyle zaten hiç oynayamadık. Diğeri de yani full kav aldı Warbus. Çok efektif oynamadılar, güzel oynamadılar. One of them yeah, we, uh, didn't, we couldn't play uh, with um, the other team, uh, but in uh, the war Warbus, they just play try to play um, Kev mm -hmm. in, in that city, and they they played uh, less than we thought. Hmm. That's not good for them, but uh, uh, hopefully they'll improve. All right, what's the next team on your list? Next team, uh, Alayna Mermi, A tier. Neden es vermedim? Onu söyleyeyim. İki maç üst üste flink yediler. Biri Apes maçında, biri de Loven Division maçında. Yani bir takım kendine es tier diyorsa bence bir hatayı tekrar yapmamalılar. Apes maçında öyle ama ben onu They got flanked. They got flanked two times in two different matches. And if you if you if you uh, put yourself in S tier, you shouldn't do the same mistake uh, two times. Ah, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. Lavan Kester Kesterlana Skybull yapıyordu. Ben de yorumculuk yapıyordum. Yukarıdan serettim. Alayına mermi kurak da Lavan Davishin maçını aldı derken arkadan bir flank yedi ve önden bir katafrak yediler. Ve maçı kaybettiler. Bir bir berabere bitti. Yani bir S-tier takım sayar. Bunu yapmamalı. Onun için A-tier'i veriyorum. Ama kötü demiyorum tabii. I watched, tabii. In the, cast, I watched uh, the, the match mm -hmm. in casting. I was uh, in stream with my friend. With my with uh, Skybolt in yeah. the stream. Uh, they one charge in front uh, the uh, setup. And the one back cataphrase. Cataphracts in the back, so uh, one of these teams in uh, Rustic Division uh, shouldn't uh, make these mistakes mm -hmm. and two times. Yeah, I get it. And the other match was against Apes on Hidden City, right, where they also lost the game. And mm -hmm. yeah, Cordain also from Ali Mermaid said last last last week that that that, that was their worst game on uh, Hidden City against Apes. So. I guess they agree Bro. a little bit there. Interesting. All right. Uh, what's your next team then? Uh, Pile also mm -hmm. A tier. Also A tier. All right. Tell me why. Yes. Uh, Pile, a good team. Players, I know them. 
güzel isimler var ama Hayır, Hayla... it's a good team. I know most of the players. Hı -hı. Ee, ama Payla üçüncü sezon olması lazım. Maçlarını da sundum, ee, karşısında da oynadım. Payla da bir that's eksiklik the third var. Season. But that's the third season of Payla in um, tournaments. They have, they have, a, um, uh, they have a bad situation. Uh, I can't say now, but I, Hı -hı. I can't. There is something wrong with them in the uh, their play, they their playing style. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I can't say what it is, but I don't think they are doing their best. Mm, okay, okay, interesting. Yeah, so yeah. I I've heard from a lot of teams that Belia oh yeah, are are quite good, even when they first started last season in the play-ins, and they didn't really play that well in that season. So. Um... What makes them really good then? You're saying they have flaws, but what what makes them really good? On onları ne iyi yapar? You know, ne iyi eksik sence diyor yani? Ne olsa da yani, Onu buradan söylerler, söylersem şampiyon olurlar. Ben de bilmiyorum. Ha. Bilmiyorum ama bir şey ha. eksik yani. İyi oyuncular, güzel oyuncular. If I would, oyuncular... if I would uh, know this and tell this in here. Uh, they can be champion, so I don't know uh, either. Gerçekten bilmiyorum. Yani güzel oyuncular ne var hepsinin. Üç sezondur oynuyorlar ama bir şeyler eksik bilmiyorum. Ama kötü bir takım değiller. Gerçekten. Alright, that's a good one. They're not a bad team. They just need to improve themselves in different ways. Alright, good, good here. Uh, yeah, next okay. one. Uh, Furiosloves. Uh, J tier, J ne oluyordu? C. C tier. C tier. Alright. Yeni bir takım. Yani yeni bir takım. Uh, yeni puan topladılar hmm. ama bence organizasyon eksiklikleri var. Uh, they uh, they made good in the uh, their leg, but they have. Some... Um, uh, coordination issues. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. They're definitely Chocolate a new team. Chocolate yeah. goblins. Definitely quite well. Chocolate goblin. Yeah. Why do you want them? Uh, same. For C tier. Oh, fear. Yes. All right. Oh. Tell me why. I mean, it's understandable after <laughs> last week, I guess. Toxic Oliver. Uh, toxic. Toxic Gladstream. <laughs> Sezonlardır, yani onların da üçüncü sezonu, <gülüyor> e, isim değişikliği yaptılar ama bence öbür sezon yine Rüstik'te olacak, <gülüyor> belki şampiyon olurlar. Uh, they... Their names, their uh, third season in tournaments, uh, but I think they're gonna play in Rostik next mm -hmm. season too. Alright, interesting to hear. From S tier to C tier. Şampiyon Rüstik division. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe they uh, they be uh, champion in rustic, but for now we can we can see. Alright, see there, I like it. Alright, tell me the next one. Uh, golem golem life, D tier. Okay. Uh, adamant. Uh, same chocolate goblins, just uh. 15-14 kazandılar ya son maçı. Yeah, they lost 14, 14 uh, versus 15. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, true. Adamant had one player less than Chocolate Goblin in their first uh, game, right? And they, they won that. So they should probably be beat there, actually. <laughs> uh, Apes, D tier. D tier? All right. Yes. <clears throat> uh, ben niye onlara öyle bir şey verdim? Onu da söyleyeyim. Uh, yani organizasyon sıkıntısı var diye düşünüyorum. Ee, Oynayışlarını uh, sevmiyorum. Organization, organization issues too. I don't like I don't like their playing style. Mm -hmm. ee, Birçok kez sıkrım attık. Pek çok değişik. <gülüyor> yani karşı <gülüyor> takımda scrims, couple times. Ee, değişen bir şey olduğunu görmedim. Hep aynı taktikte oynuyorlar ve e, they, öldükçe kepin içine yani tertür var mantığı gibi oynuyorlar. Öldükçe kepin içine. Like... They playing like territory war uh, mm. battles. They uh, they rushing to do uh, points uh, after they died, mm -hmm. and and they I don't think they improve improving themselves. Mm -hmm. They just play. We had some 
uh, screams and the all streams all screams uh, were uh, the same tactic mostly. Hmm. Okay, okay. Interesting to find it out. Yeah, I'm very curious. Like apes, they are kind of middle of the pack for me, but uh, I, I get what you're saying here for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Için, içindeki oyuncular var mesela sezonlardır aynı ligde oynuyorlar bir başarıları yok ve hala kendilerini geliştiremeyen oyuncular var. O sebepten dolayı. They have some players. They have some players uh, playing like uh, playing in tournaments for seasons, but mm -hmm. they still uh, playing same and they don't improve themselves. Ben onun için Apes'in iyi bir takım olduğunu düşünmüyorum. Kim kaldı? Kripta disband, Just Press One disband, Baget disband, Confection and Engegner. Engegner... Engegner sevmiyorum ya. <gülüyor> I think we can all put all the teams in detail and confection. I don't like the Engegner. Uh, says... I don't like Engegner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, just DTR. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, sevmediğim için koyuyorum bu arada. Yes. Uh, ve, yeah. Just for the loss, I guess. Bence, yani dediğim gibi, Kaimera ile Susmo uzun zamandır oynamadı. Susmo belki <gülüyor> oynuyordu. Kaimera belki oynasaydı daha iyi komut, daha iyi şeyler yapabilir. Bunda e, bir şeyim yok. Uh, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying again, they don't play. I'm saying again, uh, they're not playing for some seasons, so mm -hmm. they lost the uh, mostly meta, and uh, they don't have the old, old good players. Uh, for now, for now yeah, they are not, not uh, good. that but good. Snow, but Snow, maybe he's a, maybe he's a, uh, he's a uh, good player or shot killer, uh, but. Uh, for now, they're not seeing mm -hmm. seem, seem, seems right. good. Yeah, no, so not at the level that they once were at. And maybe also all the other teams got better as well, right? I mean, uh, yeah, all I'm, of you are playing so way, much. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm old I'm an, player. I'm an uh, old Engigner player. Oh, yeah. I played, yeah. Five, I played yeah, five. I played, yes. Yeah, I, I played five seasons in Engigner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like five yeah, seasons in Engigner. Uh, I know I, mostly players. And I, I just joined Engekton just before uh, two months. They joined uh, their uh, CBL win, mm -hmm. and I was the first, uh, first one who uh, deserves to uh, win the title. Mm -hmm. But some players uh, couldn't um, quit the uh, team. So maybe, maybe. Uh, I I could one of the uh, have a CBL title <laughs> for me. Yeah, maybe maybe who knows? Okay. One one day we hope to get another CBL somewhere, right? So then we maybe. then we will okay. find out, I guess. Yeah. yeah. All right. Last two teams then. Where do we place them? Confection. Ah, uh, kendime estira koyacak karar egoist değilim diyeceğim ama Confection estir. <laughs> Niye boş yapıyorsun ki o zaman? Tüm yer dinsiyet kılat. Sen bu yer goyun tutu. Sen bu yer goyun tutu. Abi diğer takımları B'ye koyalım madem. Bizi A'ya koyalım. Abi bu benim kendi düşüncem bu arada. A var sana yap. It's my own decision he says. I don't care put this. S tier? S. He says S tier. Alright. I like it. Confident. There will be no jinxing it. This is just confidence. And I trust you will get it. Um, hope to see you in the finals. <laughs> oh, Love and Devotion. Love and Devotion, yeah, where are they? B tier. B. B, B, B. B. Oh, the only B tier team. Yeah, all right, all right. All right, uh, so, I like it. So, Lord our Division. our six Fox finalists are currently S tier, A tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, and D tier. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, so Furious, the Slavs, and the Adamant, they're both in your group, right? So, uh, you're also saying your, your group was better than all of the... Uh, uh, group A, I guess. Confirm? Onaylıyor musun? Bizim takımımızın... Aynen. Sana da düştüm. Evet, onaylıyorum. Confirm. Yeah, I confirm it. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Absolutely. Yeah, you, you had the toughest fight for sure. Uh, in that whole uh, 
that whole group. All right then, um, last thing I wanna do with you guys before we sign off here um, is take a look at uh, uh, the Sunday's matches on 6th of November, right? It will be in two weeks, so we're gonna have a break and you guys will be having another two week break even, so lucky you. Uh, before we have to place either Love and Devotion or Pelia. Um, so one by one, uh, Alex, Barton and Glatz, um, what do you think is going to be the score between Endgegner Chocolate and Love and Devotion and Pelia? It, it's okay. a best of three, so it's either 2-0 or 2-1 for one of those teams. Kimin çıkacağını mı söylüyorsun? Hayır, tık, e, oynanacak maçları değerlendir diyor. Hmm. Endgegner'ın ve bizim yapacağımız maçları. Love and Devotion ile e, Pelia maçının gönlünden geçeni Tabii ki Loven Division ama hiç bilmiyorum. Paella alabilir. Paella o maçta favori gözüküyor. I'm supporting to uh, Loven Division. I'm supporting to uh, Loven Division. Not supporting. I just I think uh, Loven hmm. Division wins, hmm. but we can't uh, know what what's going to happen. Hmm. Diğer takımlar için ne diyorsun? Diğer takımlar için. Engegnerle Çaklık Paladins maçını gerçekten hiç bilmiyorum. Çaklık Paladins gerçekten pala soru soru. Uh, chocolate Goblins, uh, mm -hmm. old name. Chocolate Paladins. Uh, goblins, çok kötü <gülüyor> takım yani. Adamanta 15-14 berabere kalıyor. Ba bazen güzel oynuyor. Bilmiyorum. Engelli olabilir. Wait. Uh, that keep going. Hmm? Devam et. Devam. Engelli olabilir diyorum. Uh, I think Engelli wins. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion. Alright, all right. but it's a hard one to, to predict, I guess. Uh, is it a 2-0 or a 2-1? Uh, 2-0 mı biter yoksa şey kalır mı diyor? Bence yani buraya kadar çıkan takımlar. Bence e, 2-0 bitmez maçlar. Çünkü bir de Turul Varos. Bence yeah, bu Turul Varos. Yeah, it's gonna be Turul Varos. It's uh, gonna be too low I don't think it's gonna be uh, two zero mm -hmm. for uh, both sides. I think it's gonna be uh, two one. Match. Two one matchların hepsinde kesinlikle iki sıfır görmeyeceğiz. Mm -hmm. Hepsi bir bir olacak ve hep Grassland maçlarını göreceğiz. I don't think we're gonna see two zero fights in Trouble Warriors mm -hmm. in, in fights. I think they all gonna be uh, two one. For, uh, each fights. All right, that's already interesting to find out. I like that prediction. We'll have to wait and find out. If it is, then all teams should definitely be screaming a lot on uh, Grasslands. Uh, but you do need to make sure you get to that 2-0 uh, or 1-1, of course. So uh, better we get a win on the uh, Tour of Arrows as well. All right, I like it. Um, Alex, Bart, anything else you would like right. to add uh, to all that we've said? No, I don't know. I mean, my bets on these games are completely different. So we will see All who right. wins. What what is but yours then? I think pilot two O's. Yeah. Love and devotion. Like I, I don't know, like I, I have a lot of trust on Pyla. Mm -hmm. And I think Chocolate Goblins can win against Eggner. Mm. So All right. <laughs> it's totally different with Clutch. Yeah, yeah it is this I mean it, I, I Chocolate Goblins were really cocky of course, um after at the start of the season, but uh confidence you could say, and then they dropped a lot of games and also some of their players maybe uh, but if they rebuild then maybe they could do really well who knows i like it and bart what about you uh, i think the division takes 2-0 but mm. uh, i can say anything to uh Ingigner match uh literally uh can't see this but it's gonna be uh 2-1 probably but i don't think uh Gigner gonna win all right the other team gonna win didn't check like only one all right interesting yep well, we can only wait and find out uh, and see what happens. Uh, there's two weeks to prepare, so the teams can do a lot of uh, strategy meetings. Um, and also the bands are going to be really important. I, I, I won't ask you what bands you predict because it will give you, it will give too much away. So, we'll see that. Always travelers. <gülüyor> Alex don't die over the shovel, yes, it's not healthy. Ya, yeah, but şunu, şunu transiyetini yap gerçekten. Ee, biz birisiyle sikrim atacaksak mesela bize bana artık sormuyorlar. Chevalers yazıyor. Uh, when we when we do uh, scream with uh, some teams, they don't ask you what's your band. We our band is uh, almost almost always being chevalers. Hmm. They don't ask it. No. 
Let's see, that's not even ask me what do we want to ban for games. He just say we want to earlier. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. If, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like Chavalis. <laughs> I can confirm that. Yep. All right, let's get there. All right, guys, uh, we're gonna sign off. It's been a good hour. Uh, I really enjoyed talking to all of you. Uh, but before we close it out, uh, anything else you would like to say? Um, Alex, here? Yeah? No. Yeah. You are good. I don't. Uh, I don't actually. Last time in Madam Surgery, I didn't see them. Sekiz'e selam gönderiyorum buradan. I'm, I'm saying hello to Sekis from here. <laughs> well, there you go, Sekis. Hello from Gatsheimer. In this tournament, in this tournament, uh, really have uh, Turkish weavers and mostly uh, the weavers being Turkish. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, season zero, uh, my Turkish streamer, mm -hmm. who, uh, uh, always uh, one thousand viewers. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of Turkish stream. Like, I think 20% of the people on the Discord and also people watching are Turkish. Like, the, yeah. mo most of the people, like, the majority is Turkish, you could say. Yeah. That's really good. So, you, you, you and the Sky Bull have been doing a great job uh, promoting the, the tournament for sure. That's really appreciated. Uh, Sky, Bull, my, Sky Bull is my Padawan. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a special shout out to Sky Bull then as well, I guess. Now, but you guys have been really rocking it. It's been amazing. <laughs> Uh, thank you for podcast, Seabe. All right, Bart, anything from you then? Uh, I don't have. And thanks for everything. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. You're more than welcome. Uh, well, good luck, guys, uh, in the semifinals. Um, you have plenty of time thank to wait know. and see who's going to play you. So uh, it could be love and devotion or Pelia. And then I'm really looking forward to the finals if you guys make it there uh, against Endgame or Ali Mermi or Chocolate Goblin. Who knows? It uh, will be a good one regardless. Um, so thank you. Good luck with Tubu Varos and Grasslands, because that's, what, that's where we're headed. And uh, see you guys uh, in a bit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, see, see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>